I'd like to introduce a new innovation technology called gesture control. This is for in-flight entertainment on commercial aircraft. The great part about this innovation is your ability to navigate without ever touching the screen. So this demo will now actually wake up the monitor. And if you notice, the passenger is actually waking up the monitor and he's now able to go to the home environment and he's actually able to navigate through the interface. We have games, music, movies, apps, and my flight. He'll go ahead and select a movie and he'll actually be able to look at genre so he can look at an animation movie. And if you notice, he's navigating back to the different genres. And he can actually select the movie that he wants, and he'll launch Epic. And the movie's now launched. If you notice, the player controls have now actually disappeared. So from a comfort level, the passenger, if they're eating dinner, or the flight attendant, or conversing with someone else, it actually does not navigate the system. He actually has to wake up the system. So he'll go ahead and wake up the system, pull the player controls back up, pause the movie, He'll actually be able to restart the movie. And he can actually go out and exit out of the movie and decide he wants to go look at other things. So he'll go back to the home. He'll be able to now navigate over to applications. And this is actually demonstrating the ability to put a magazine on the in-flight timer system and use your hand to actually change the pages. So the pastor can actually read it on the screen. I'd like to introduce a new innovation called eye tracking control for an in-flight entertainment system, which gives the ability of the passenger to navigate a far reach screen with their eyes. This is utilized with IR emitters and an eye tracking camera. And so the passenger now is able to create their eyes as a navigation tool. And if you can notice on the screen, he's actually navigating with his eyes. So as he stares at different items, it's moving the cursor. If he goes over to movies, it's actually going to use a dwell. The passenger will stare at the device, it launches the movie. So as he stares at an item, that's actually the launch mechanism. So if you notice, he launched Epic through his eyes. But the same ability to have the player controls as well is he's actually able to stare at the bottom of the screen, which will actually pop up the controls, and he can go to stop or pause, or he can turn off volume. So similar applications that you would normally have on a movie, you have that same ability to navigate with your eyes.